The Senate's back in session this August for a simple reason. We have more to do for the families across America who count on us to work hard and to fight for them. That's why the next legislation the Senate will consider is the pair of critically important appropriation bills that will fund our national defense, along with the Departments of Labor and Health and Human Services. Talk about subjects that are vital to the American people. At stake is a 2.6% pay raise for U.S. service members, the largest pay raise for troops in almost a decade, the equipment, tools, and training they need to complete their missions, and funding to support the necessary programs we just authorized when the John S. McCain National Defense Act became law earlier this week. At stake are billions of dollars to fight back against the opioid crisis, hundreds of millions to support and retrain American workers who need a boost back into the labor force, hundreds of millions more for employment training, specifically for our veterans, funding for the Centers for Disease Control and the National Institutes of Health, and federal funding for our nation's schools. I've only scratched the surface. There will be plenty of time in the days ahead to discuss in detail all the ways this legislation will help our country, as well as to consider amendments. <clears throat> Yesterday was a promising start. We agreed to proceed to these two important funding bills by consent after we wrap up the nominations that are before us today. Now we need to keep up the collaboration. There's a reason why it's been quite some time since we've completed a full regular appropriations process. There's a reason why, for example, it's been 15 years, 15 years since the Senate passed the labor health education bill in time for the start of the fiscal year. This process is not easy. It's hard work for our appropriation subcommittees and full committee to craft this legislation. Then here on the floor, we need cooperation from both sides to process amendments while resisting the temptation to turn the appropriations process into a free-for-all on all manner of policy issues. But this year, that's just, what, just exactly what we're doing. The Senate's already passed seven of 12 bills. In the next several days, we'll consider number eight and number nine. Once we finish them, that'll encompass more than 87%, Mr. President, more than 87% of the total <clears throat> discretionary spending. Two more big strides toward avoiding another omnibus and appropriating the taxpayers' money in the right way.